weekend folks, I'm back out today in Denver as well as Manitou Springs. Starting off in Denver though, I took a little walk around for an hour on this overcast day and this was one of the first pictures that I saw and I didn't think anything of it at the time, I really thought I'd missed everything. But the silhouette of this guy in the window is actually pretty awesome and the more I look at this picture the more I really like it. So that was a pretty good start. This guy coming up in the white shirt, I'm pretty sure had itchy nuts. Did not see that until I was editing the video afterwards. Crossing the road here, I was going to take a picture of that guy on the left, but I changed my mind. And then as I approached this like street corner here, all of these like moving pieces came together. And I just took a, a chance here. And I got this shot that was like, everybody was separate. There was kind of different actions happening. I mean, the guy with the mask in the front wasn't really doing anything, he was just walking through. But this guy with the crutch on the left, and there's this guy pushing a cart, and another guy messing around with one of those electric scooters. And I like the, the separation between them all. It's I don't think it's a good street photograph, really, but I do like that I managed to get that separation. This is something that I've always wanted to start to achieve in my pictures, and this was one of the first times that I think I managed it, so pretty pleased with that. And I noticed this cobbler store on the on the right and there was a guy doing something behind the counter in the back and I was like oh maybe he's like lit up enough that I'll be able to see him from the outside. I couldn't really but there was really cool like interesting reflections and the neon sign and it's just kind of like abstract layered street shot. Would have been nice if there was people passing through it but I just quite like it. This didn't work out at all. I've been chasing pigeons a lot recently trying to get pigeon photos. And this person on the left here must have had some sort of like uh, like a drip or something that was attached to their foot. I'm not sure what it would be, uh, but they put a plastic bag on it to protect it. And I, I thought that looked really interesting. And just with, a, with this blue line on the road and the diagonal of the white lines, and, and like the red kind of contrasting with the, with the target bag there. Um, I, I kind of I thought it was an interesting shot really. And that was it for Denver. Next I went into Manitou Springs and took a walk around there. It was full sun, middle of the day. I was not sure if I was going to get anything at all that I liked. In fact I was a little bit worried about walking around. Um, it's just kind of a little bit busier than I'm comfortable with right now at times. So I'm just giving it a try and uh, seeing if I can concentrate enough to actually get some pictures or tell some sort of story of the way this place is just now. It's, a, it's not a big city, it's a small town on the edge of Colorado Springs. I do love this alleyway though, it's like arcades, but there's in the middle of the day there's this like nice shaft of light that goes down the middle and here's this lady, like a mom and her family about to step through it. And then this is the other side of this alley. I'm coming down here and there's these cool green benches on the left hand side which I wasn't really paying much attention to until I got a little bit further down. I wish I'd noticed the person on the left there that was sitting on that bench but I was too busy looking at the couple walking towards me. But then this lady with her hands on the left there on her head. I don't know what it is about this picture, I really like it. I, I took the picture because of the gesture of her having her hands up on her head but she's also pushed her ponytail forwards. It was just that sort of like oddness of doing that, that gesture kind of made it interesting to me. I like the, the green color in the bench and also I made a conscious choice to put this like um, this horse, toy horse things head in the corner there as well to kind of show a bit more of the arcade or just put something else interesting in the frame. This is very unlike my usual kind of stuff. I'm a bit more influenced here by the likes of Matt Stewart or Joel Myrowitz. And literally right after that, all these kids just ran out in front of me. I think they were from two different families. They're, they're all separated and they're crossing each other's path. The one of them has a mask on, which kind of like time stamps it. But she's also holding a, like a palm full of change. And I'm not sure if you would know that if you didn't know it was an arcade, but you can see an arcade thing behind the boy and also the sign that says change on the on the wall there as well. And I also like that their heads are like contained within dark areas of the frame. So there's kind of this separation. Kept taking shots as they were running past. 
And I got this other one, which actually I quite like as well. But there's this difference in scale compared to the boy. He looks tiny and the girl looks huge. But also her hair, it like splits the frame in half. And I found that kind of interesting. It would have been nice maybe if her whole hand was in the frame or something, but not mad about it, quite like it. Also today, I wanted to make an effort to sit down in like a single spot and just wait for things to maybe happen in front of me. And I thought this kind of courtyard area was interesting. We've got this kid jumping around. I didn't notice them at first jumping like that as this other person walks through but I did I was aware of the like having two or three people in the frame but this kid's levitating because they were jumping but that that was really the only reason that I kept this picture in there I, I liked that little detail and sitting there for a little longer I just was trying a few different things as people walking past me a little bit later on I found myself sitting on another wall and this dog walks past and I got this one quite liked it but I wish the tail was somehow separated from the feet there and it wasn't cutting them off like that, but uh, cute dog. Crossing this road here, I could see this guy coming along with his guitar and this like orange restaurant looks really interesting. So just walking up to him and I got this one. I did have to crop it a little bit to, it, it was just a little bit too wide and I aimed the camera really badly. I don't know what I was thinking. I've cut his hand off. And that's about it. Here is a little slideshow of other pictures that I've been taking recently when it's been off the GoPro, just like walking the dog or uh, driving around or whatever. And thank you very much for watching. Hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. And I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Cheers.